Hello, family and friends of Seward United Methodist Church. This is Reverend Mary Kay. And at this time of year, as we are just barely a week away from Thanksgiving, my heart turns to thoughts of gratitude. And you may remember that last year I shared one of these midweek devotions that was the 34 things I loved about Seward UMC so far. And I thought I would return to something like that. Uh, but this year I'm calling it my 2021 Thanks B list for Seward United Methodist. And it's the top 38 this year. There's probably things that could be added to this list. It's not meant to be exhaustive, but the longer I worked on it, the more things I thought of and just so much to be grateful for about Seward United Methodist. So here's 38 of the things to be grateful for that I'm grateful for already. Number 38, we have an ice maker. I use the ice maker regularly and am grateful it is available. Start off with a fun one. Number 37, start off with a recent one, the Four Seasons Bazaar. I love church bazaars. And this one was top-notch, well-planned, quality items available, so many folks helping out in so many ways. Well done and delightful. Number 36, baptisms and funerals and confirmation and weddings. Each of these significant life events are meaningful, and it is an honor to be a part of them. 35, the mattress loading miracle. When volunteers took some 70 mattresses from Concordia dorm rooms and loaded them into the semi-trailer in 22 minutes flat, the mattresses were then donated to the Pine Ridge Reservation. 34, last Christmas Eve, stepping outside at the end of each service to sing Silent Night in the stillness of the evening, despite the fact it was very cold. We just needed to sing and outside was safest at that point last year. 33, the annual trip to the Lincoln Zoo, making it possible for families to experience the zoo together, including train rides and feeding the giraffes. Love that our church does this. Number 32, bounce houses on the front lawn for Halloween. That was fun. Number 31, the hospitality we provided with free coffee and donuts for the 4th of July festivities and the volunteers who made that early morning ministry possible. 30, getting to preach for the 4th of July community service where our praise team provided the music. Thanks to all the folks who helped haul instruments and sound equipment to the band shell and back. 29, the church carillon, which chimes each quarter hour and plays hymns throughout the day. 28, we finished updating the personnel manual. Woo! 27, our new little free library near the northeast back door. Check it out if you haven't already. Number 26, the stormwater management project that helps divert water runoff away from our playground. 25, the new bright LED lights that show off our stained glass window so beautifully after dark. 24, the church conference back last winter where we voted to proceed with the design phase of the building project. 23, the congregation's support and understanding for Pastor Joellen's Sabbath leave. 22, getting to work with Pastor Jen for several months. She brought such fresh energy, embodied faith, and joyful soul to her ministry in our midst. 21, the way this congregation observed Pastor Appreciation Month. 
the many, many cards and gifts I received were encouraging and uplifting. Thank y'all so much. 20, Sunday school is back. We are in a season of rebuilding, but we have teachers in place and a few kids are coming regularly and all kids are welcome. 19, our popcorn machine. The church has a movie theater style popcorn machine. How cool is that? And on Sunday mornings, the aroma of fresh popcorn wafts through the north side of the building. 18, Easter sunrise service at Junto Winery. What a beautiful place to celebrate the resurrection and what hard work by so many to make it happen. 17, trunk or treat. So many volunteers, so much candy, so many people. More than 1,200 visited during that three hours. Our new logo. We worked with a local designer to create the logo inspired by our beautiful Tree of Life window. And we have sweatshirts and t-shirts that were available as a fundraiser for the youth mission trip. I suspect they'll be available again if you missed the opportunity to get yours. Vacation Bible School. This ecumenical effort brought together students and volunteers from three churches, providing students fun and faith-filled learning. 14, Seward UMC Foundation. Such amazing stewards of financial resources entrusted to our congregation. They support many ministry needs through the earnings from endowed funds. The foundation's stewardship and vision enabled our congregation to quickly pivot in the pandemic. Foundation funds covered the cost of necessary tech equipment upgrades so that we have been able to offer virtual worship services and other opportunities. Number 13, the Bright Beginnings Child Development Center. This self-supporting outreach ministry of the church makes a difference in the lives of some 70 little ones every year by providing safe space and faith-based learning environment for some of the youngest residents of our community. Number 12, the administrative committees of our church who keep everything going smoothly, from bills paid to building repairs, from nominations to giving statements. These committees are hard at work that we might all enjoy the ministries of the congregation. Number 11, our faith community nurses. These Earthly angels are busy keeping an eye on our blood pressure, providing respite care, visiting members stuck at home, making a difference in the lives of many. 10, all our youth leaders and volunteers from our UMYF leaders, our godparents, our Sunday school teachers, all the folks who give generously of their time to provide a safe place for our youth to grow in faith. Excuse me, need a little bit of water. Number nine, food net. So many folks helping, so many folks being fed week in, week out. Volunteers show up and help. This outreach ministry makes a significant difference in our community. Eight, all the many, many people who make worship possible every week, from ushers to the tech team, from musicians to greeters, from childcare workers to liturgists, from communion stewards to acolytes, from bell ringers to choir singers, from flower arrangers to decorators. Worship only happens because so many people make it possible. 
Seven, Wednesday focus volunteers. Okay, wow. I was bowled over by the work of the ad hoc group of folks who met and planned out Wednesday evening suppers for the year and recruited the folks to make those suppers happen. It's such a gift not to worry about trying to find something to eat between office hours and evening meetings. It's such a gift for parents to have one meal a week they don't have to plan and prep. Delicious food and dedicated help, win-win. Six, confirmation students. Between the class that was confirmed in the spring and the class that began this fall, these are some amazing and wonderful young people. I look forward to being with them in class each week. Number five, the Gather and Grow Capital Campaign Task Force. This team of gifted and dedicated folks have worked with thoughtfulness, care, and enthusiasm to help us raise the funds for the Gather and Grow building project. Number four, the Building Improvement Committee. It has been an honor to work with this dedicated committee in shaping the vision and design for our Gather and Grow project, a South addition to our church building. In the span of a single year, this committee has taken the need for restrooms near the sanctuary to a full-blown design that is nearly ready to be put out for bid. Number three, faithfulness. This congregation is faithful in paying mission shares, faithful in doing ministry responsibly, faithful to help this community. Number two, Terry and Wes and Joellen. What a great staff that I get to work with. Each brings skills, gifts, abilities that enhance and enrich the ministry of this congregation. And number one, the incredible people of this congregation. Everything on the list above is only possible because, the people, because of the people of this church. Amazing folks who share time and skills and elbow grease. Thanks be for the ways y'all live into your membership vows to support this congregation with your prayers, presence, gifts, service, and witness. Thanks be. Thanks be. Hope y'all have a good week. Happy Thanksgiving. Take care.